Today, I'm going to show you six space-saving storage and organizational ideas that we use on our Grand Design travel trailer. Let's get started in the kitchen. This is the Grand Design pantry that we have. It's a half pantry. 8 inches by 22 inches by 23 inches deep. You're going to be amazed how much stuff I can get in here with just a few simple organizational techniques. Here we go. Here's everything that I'm going to put into that pantry, which was 8 by 22 by 23. We have we have corn, we have bottles of hot sauce, we have dehydrated marshmallows, we got peanut butter, we got spices, we got boxes of treats for the grandson, Jiffy Mix, vegetable oil, um, cheesy crunches, I haven't seen these yet, these are new to me, and Pop-Tarts, two different flavors of Pop-Tarts, ranch dressing, candy bars, marshmallows, that will all fit in that pantry, let me show you how. Let me show you how we got all that stuff in the dining room table, and how we get it into here. First of all, we got a sliding shelf, it makes life a little easier. You can see everything. On the bottom, we got two shelves. All that stuff on the dining room table fits into here. And I'm going to show you how we do it. It's really cool. There you go, look at there. All of that fit. I made this myself, I would not recommend it. Buy one off of Amazon. I bought this off of Amazon, I'll put the link down below. Easy to put in. Very easy to put in. And that's how we did it. On to the next one. Okay, we got our gas range and uh, oven. We don't use it. Don't use it at all. Never have. So uh, we got a glass top that covers the burners. And you know what? Food falls down here, water, drinks, milk, whatever gets down in here. And it's just a mess to clean up. So since we don't use it, we want to come up with a solution that we could make this area more accessible and more, more of a usable space than something to avoid. So our solution to that was this cutting board. Got it off Amazon. Um, the one thing about it we did, we did buy these rubber feet and put on there so it won't slide around. And what that allows us to do, we put it over the top like this, and now we have a cutting board we have extra workspace for the kitchen and it does not allow food liquids to drop down in there which makes a mess to clean up. There's a little cut out here, rim, so if, you do, if you're doing something and it spills off the side it doesn't fall down there. Uh, we did get this from Amazon, I'll put the links to it down in the description and the, along with the rubber feet. And I tell you what, this makes a good solution especially if you don't use your um, propane stove top or your oven. Or you, you still use your oven with it, but that, th this has just made a huge difference as far as the workspace in the kitchen. To get increased storage and some organization in our in our um, bedroom, on my wife's side of the bed, we put in this hanging uh, cloth shelves. And they work really good. My wife can store stuff on them like she has here. She can stack multiple um, garments in there. And it has made a huge difference. Now, there is one caveat to that. She did sp steal some of my side to hang some stuff that she doesn't want to get wrinkled on. So, but this 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 has been a game changer for her. Um, she, she would rather fold up stuff and stack it here than hang it because she didn't have enough space 
and put all the stuff that she doesn't want to hang on her side of the bed. So anyway, this is cheap. I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link to Amazon in it. It it, it it's, it's made a difference for her. Now I'll show you my side. Okay, now we're gonna talk about my side of the bed. And um, here here's the side we hang stuff. You can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We got eleven shirts hanging up. Just regular old stuff. Now, what what we have done is we went to these skinny hangers, and it doesn't look like a lot of difference. But when you get them in there, and you just lose a eighth of an inch or a straw or a weak quarter, when you do that by 10 that's quite a bit of space in a small in a small camper so definitely go to the skinny hangers but the small hangers you have the ability to hang more clothes in a, the same amount of space than you do with the big hangers now the other thing we do is back behind here because there's extra space I have a box and it it is collapsible and what we do here if you can see it, we pack, we roll up other t-shirts and whatnot. We have t-shirts, I have a, a jacket rolled up inside of here. Um, I got, I actually have, I have a pair of pants rolled up, sweatpants that I use when it gets cold. In, inside this little thing that sits back behind here, I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I can double it so I can get 12 and that includes a, a, a windbreaker and a pair of sweatpants. So this adds up, this I've taken wasted space, I couldn't do anything with it, and I, I can put up to 12, I can even, and if I just went t-shirts, I could get 20 t-shirts rolled up in here. That, that's quite a bit. I usually go through a couple t-shirts a day when I'm camping. So anyway, that, that is our organizational tip for our bedroom, and I got one more to show you. Be right back. Okay, this last is an organizational tip. That's all it is. I have this box, this drawer, which my wife has given me. And I keep stuff that I need to access when I'm outside the RV uh, quite a bit. Example. I have a flashlight. I know where it is, it's always in this drawer. I have one of these screwdrivers, 13 in one. Everything I need to work on the camper, no, let me rephrase that. Everything I've run across to work on the camper so far, I can do with this with this 13 in one screwdriver. Um, sometimes the socket set makes it a little easier, but most of it stuff is screwed in, and if they need to be tightened or loosened or I need to add something or work on something, this is it. This little tool makes it makes it happen. I don't know how I collect so many keys, but I keep them all right here. I can open up the door, reach in, and grab them. And other than that, it's my junk drawer. And I think everybody needs one. But the two main things that I, or the three things, the keys, a flashlight, and a 13-in-one screwdriver. This makes life so much easier. I don't have to go hunting, digging through toolboxes. My wife knows where they are. She reaches in and gets them when she needs them. I reach in and get these three th items the most when I need them. So what'd you think? The pantry, get a lot of stuff in that pantry now. Or bedroom closets, you get more stuff in there. And it's more organized and a little drawer uh, where we keep the 13-1 screwdriver, the keys and the flashlight. It helps, it makes life a little easier. Well, hope you liked what you saw. If you did, give us a thumbs up uh, and leave a comment. And uh, please subscribe if you would, if you thought, if you want to see more videos like that. We hope to see you around the campfire. And you all take care now.